Hello everyone from the Dukan family. I would like to show you a clean and minimal plant store template that I've developed from scratch from Dukan. And I would like to show you step by step how I go from design to development and configuration for the whole template. So the first thing is we start with the branding. And as you can see here, I start with the name Pautha, which means plant in Hindi. And I use a very simple color scheme here. You might notice that there are two color schemes that exist. The first one is a lighter green and the second one is a darker green for the call to action color. So the logo is also using the same color, in this case the darker green. And in, in, in terms of font, I'm actually using this template called Oxford. And once you go to customize on the font section, there's a list of font families that uh, Dukaan has provided that you can choose from. And in this case, I would like to have a more serif font, uh, unique feeling for, for this plant store. So I chose Bitter uh, from Google Fonts for, for this purpose. The next one is the logo itself. So um, I like to get this logo to be in text, but Duka Dukaan currently has a limitation of not allowing just text, uh, it, mu it must be a logo and text at the same time. And I believe this is something that the Dukan team is also trying to fix as well. And what I've done here is creating a leaf logo or a simple leaf logo and also have it in text format as well. Ideally, I would like to have the logo just text and that's something that I've tried to configure in Dukaan, but there's something that I cannot do yet. So the second part is the design. Let me show you what I have designed uh, in Figma here. So I have basically traced the whole Dukaan template and then redesigned it in Figma that allows it to have a more customization feeling, uh, but it still fit into the default Dukaan template in this case. So on the first part, you might notice that uh, there's this custom banner that I've designed here showing some plants at home and also a CTA button. The whole thing is actually an image banner so that's pretty much there's a lot of creativity that we can put into this uh, to make our store feel really unique when the visitor first came to this website. The second section is the top categories and in this case here I chose to put some plants uh, the top categories for plants and underneath this section there are some pots like some planters that are put in here and I also designed a tag just to signify that these are some of the most selling uh, most gifted planters that uh, my customer have uh, bought it for for their friends and family the next one we also have some testimonials uh, happy customer that have bought with the plant store before and we also have this help section that allows uh, the visitor if they needed to to have an easy way to reach out to seek help if they need and last but not least the call to action to subscribe and to newsletter and also uh, an enticing offer to get 50 percent off if they subscribe to this newsletter and they will get special offer as well at the same time so this uh, is actually configured uh, using MailChimp and last but not least we have the footer section so that covers pretty much the design and I would like to show you how I configure this in Dukaan itself so that comes to development and what I have selected in this case is Oxford theme right and there are a few things that I've configured here the first one is the header Right, uh, the header here I've used. I've uploaded this uh, design banner onto onto this section, and what I've also done is I will be releasing this Figma template for free, so you can change and customize according to your own store, uh, uh, and change the text and images that you need to, and also logo as well. So you can feel free to play around with this, and I'll leave a link. Uh, on, on, on this video itself as well so you can download it for free on Gumroad. So going back to the development itself, 
um, I have configured the image banner, right? That's the first one. The second one is actually the, according to this design, is actually the top categories. So what I've done for the top categories is I've created all these top categories. Let me show you under products and tech categories. So I have these four categories here that I have created and these are using actually the product images uh, on, on, the, on the categories that the product has come into itself. And the next one is just planters. So I have formed another category just planters for all the pots and planters and put it in accordingly. Next one is testimonials. So in this case, under appearance, sections, notice that I have turned on these customer, customer testimonials and I put in the customer testimonial accordingly. And for the next section, which is the brand, brand story, the help section, I have enabled the brand story section. I've toggled this on and put in the relevant copy, upload the image itself and put in the CTA start a live chat. So last but not least, there's this uh, uh, call to action to subscribe to newsletter. So I have put in this as well, turn on the newsletter section and um, put in the title and description in this case as well. So you might see here that I have, uh, I have connected with MailChimp plugin. So if you have not had a MailChimp account, you are required to sign up first and connect your Dukaan store with the MailChimp plugin and approve uh, the relevant uh, changes needed. So the fourth part is I would like to share some learnings uh, when I'm designing and develop, developing this. And I think these are also some good points uh, for potential future potential improvement that I would like to see on the Dukaan store. The first thing is I mentioned before um, the plain text logo. So if you notice on this is the developed store that I've developed on Dukan itself, you might notice that between the design, which is something I have here, I cannot actually change the color of the text or the font size or the, uh, or the color as well. So the only thing I can do is to upload this logo itself, which is a little bit restrictive. The other alternative I have tried uh, to attempt is that I would I have tried to upload the whole logo uh, as a text itself but the default logo because it, it requires a business name on the on the account itself so this business name would actually be uh, developed here so uh, it doesn't allow me to actually uh, drop this business name so that is the first limitation I have found in terms of uh, customizing my store. The second learning I have learned is that the top categories customization. So in these top categories, you might notice that I have, according to the design, I have a uh, furrow cactus, uh, all the cactus or plants categories, but on the developed store itself, I actually have to put in the planter as well. And the reason why that happened is because uh, it is automatically generated here and there's no way I can remove this or customize it. Uh, the only thing I can do is sort the order of the categories. So I do, I do feel that if it gives me more flexibility in terms of uh, removing one of the categories that I want to, wanted to show as the top categories, that would be great. And last but uh, the other connected point is actually on the just planter section so the individual category is also automatically generated so there's no customization allowed as well so you might notice that between the design and the developed dukaan store i have here um, there are actually these just planters uh, for cactus and also more categories that appear here and there's no way i can actually uh, remove one of these sections right now because all these sections are automatically generated and ideally I would like to just have uh, top categories and just planters according to my design. So that is the current limitation that I'm facing when I'm 
I'm trying to customize um, the category sections uh, and the individual category section as well. The fourth point I've learned is that the on the footer, there's no way to also customize this logo. Ideally, I would like to have the footer logo um, to be the same as the top logo uh, with, with the logo icon and also the text if, if, if that's allowed. So last but not least, um, the, the S, SVG format is actually not allowed now. And I would like to show you why that might be important because when I switch to see this on the mobile view, you might see that this image banner on the top is slightly pixelated. And so what happened is that I was thinking maybe if we allow uh, SVG to be uploaded to Dukaan Store, not only that we can continue to keep up to the fast loading speed, which is more of the competitive advantage of Dukaan, um, but at the same time, it also reduces um, the image size or file size that we have on the Dukaan Store as well. And let me show you one more thing that I, I think is a, is, a, is a tiny highlight that I've done here. And I really appreciate that uh, Dukaan allowed me to upload a GIF um, to, to the product images. And you might notice here that this image itself on the product catalog, uh, catalog I actually upload this as a GIF. So um, it has the subtle change from one image to another. And there are some questions I've noticed from the forum as well, Dukan VIP, the Facebook group, uh, uh, some requests coming in to request for video to be uploaded. And I think since this functionality to upload GIF already exists, why not use this and leverage this while the Dukan team is uh, looking into develop uh, into allowing video format to be uploaded as well. I think GIF is a very good medium to achieve this interactivity that allows uh, visitor to come into uh, our website, uh, the, the, the merchant store to be continuously getting engaged with this. So that's all the update I have today. Uh, hope you're enjoying this uh, demo plant store that I've created and also some of the processes and learnings and insights into developing this store. Uh, I look forward to your feedback and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the comment section below as well. Thank you so much.